What's up, Fable 2 crew, and welcome back to the channel. I am Ty here with Nick and Ryan. What so, up? All right, so today I brought an old band, a band you guys might not know. This is Soul Asylum. Have you guys ever heard of Soul Asylum? I have not. I don't think so. Soul Asylum is an American alternative rock band formed in 1981 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I think that's a first, right? Am I right about that? Minnesota? Yeah, I don't think we've done I think so. Them, so. They were originally called the Loud Fast Rules. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they changed their name in 1983. But today, we're going to do Runaway Train. You guys don't know if you've heard this song. I'm not sure. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I actually think that you guys might know this song because okay. I've heard this song several times in movies and just different places. Okay. Uh, Runaway Train was released on the triple platinum album Grave Dancers Union in 1992. Ooh. Interesting name. Yeah. They actually played at the inauguration day for Bill Clinton. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, so. that's big time right yeah. there. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. Grave Dancers Union is their sixth studio album. The lead singer, Dave Pierner, said the lyrics were about his experience with depression. This song won a Grammy for Best Rock Song in 1994. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. This is Soul Asylum, Runaway Train. I recognize this instantly. <laughs> yes. I already knew that somebody was going to know this. Yeah, this is one of those that I knew the song because it got played on the radio constantly. Yes. Uh, just never knew the band. As Not soon as he started, I was like, yes, I have yeah. heard this song. Yeah. <laughs> I love the lyricism. Oh, yeah. The lyricism is off the charts right now. The part where it goes to... It seems no one can help me now. It seems kind of a rough transition, but for some reason it works. It shouldn't work, yeah. but it does work right there. Yeah, I did. I like the song so far. I like the little bass part. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of Tom Petty a little bit. Yes. Yes, it's, I, I get that vibe. So. Which we need to get to Tom Petty. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, let's keep it going and run that little bass part back. Help me remember how to smile Make it somehow all seem worthwhile How on earth did I get so jaded? Life's mystery seems so faded I can go when no one else can go I know when no one else knows Here I am just to drown in the rain With a ticket for a run Somehow I just don't believe 
Calm down. Like a madman laughing at the rain. A little out of touch, little insane. It's just easier than dealing with the pain. Run away, train, never going back. Wrong way on a one way track. Seems like I should be getting somewhere. Somehow, neither here nor there. Run away, train, never coming back. Run away, train, tearing up the track. Run away. That was a nice journey, man. I was getting lost in that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, who's the singer again? Dave? Dave, yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. He does a fantastic job in yes. that song. Yes. Every line he said, I, I believe him. It seems like that he put a lot of thought oh, into yeah. this song. This oh, song yeah. is so thoughtful. You know, I'm not going to go line by line, but if you look at the lyrics, you can just tell that his life changed oh yeah for the better and i just feel like uh, he put his heart and soul into this man and uh, i just don't see how you cannot like that song it's, it's kind of crazy how like most like sad songs have an upbeat tempo yeah that's what i was gonna say something about that like i think every i'm not saying every sad song we've done like most of them have like upbeat tempos and they're like kind of like down it's like the opposite of the beat it's, they're, like, they're, it's crazy they're how like, that a, works. like a bittersweet type thing yeah. like i'm just know. saying it's crazy how that works though but this is actually an uplifting song. Yeah, exactly. Because it's talking about being sad and then changing for the better, though. I feel like that's that fits the tone perfectly. I mean, how can you just not love that chorus? That was a runaway train, never going back. Yes. That's just extremely catchy. Yes. Uh, played on the radio a lot. Matter of fact... When I first heard that, I probably thought it was Tom Petty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to be honest with you. Just because Tom Petty has a lot of good songs. And that sounds like a Tom Petty song. Honestly. It does. It does. So you can definitely see the influence there. But either way, I'm not sure why that song isn't on my playlist. Maybe just because I haven't heard it in a while. I, I really don't listen to the radio yeah. anymore, to be honest with you. Yeah. So maybe I just kind of forgot about it. So yeah, add that to the playlist. I'm glad that you brought this to light. Yeah. Because that is just a well-written, very pleasant-sounding and thoughtful song, like I said. So big ups to them for that. And one. those guitars are just so... Yeah, just, I was digging sounded, the guitars. sounded so well together. Yeah, that's a timeless song. That's the end of the video, guys. Give us your feedback, suggestions, and as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out.